What up guys and welcome back to another one today 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 we are doing some magnet fishing and it's been a while since me and dad yep he's here since we've done a magnet fishing video it's been forever as a lot of you know the hunting season is coming back around and right now we're in a little dead spot when it comes to duck and goose hunting so i'm trying to get in some magnet fishing videos while we can before the season comes back and starts ramping back up but everybody that was here for the last magnet fishing video when i said that we were going to do a drawing to give away some of our finds to you guys a ton of you commented down below and entered the giveaway so at the end of this video dad and i are gonna be drawing the winner so stick around to the end of the video we have a couple awesome little things that we're gonna be giving the winner so stick around to the end of this video yeah i'm in the city we ain't gonna be doing no hunting here we're in the armpit of wichita kansas and let me tell you i mean it's 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 gonna get a little awkward i can tell there's a lot of people where we're at we're down by the river there's a lot of foot traffic down by this river and it spans i don't know two three miles got the old grandpa wagon parked cost me four bucks but me and dad are literally in the most urban conditions possible trying to make tr trying to do a different style magnet fishing video for y'all but real quick, I need to show you. Oh my goodness, look at that old school camo hoodie. Look at the ducks wader sweats. Oh my goodness. They're just like joggers and they're cheap. So if you guys want to pick any of this stuff up, I'll link it in the description below. Go check it out. Oh boy. Well, this might be the most adventurous magnet fishing uh, adventure that we've taken, but we are not at home anymore people let me tell you what i hope we don't get kicked out by security guards that's that's one big thing that could happen us get kicked out i'm not sure if it's frowned upon to be doing this but there's only one way to find out here we are this is one of the areas along the river this is the arkansas river that flows through uh the downtown portion of the city here and uh this is what we're working with it doesn't look like it's flowing too hard but uh how deep is it there not deep not deep at all is it it's like only two foot yeah not deep at all here we go <laughs> uh, this is only literally a foot to two foot deep anything yet nothing yet man i haven't used this magnet in a while look at the rust that's accumulated on it well i've went about 20 foot or so and look at that we got a nail two nails we are winning let me tell you hello hello old longboard getting his longboard action on that's what's up well instead of just aimlessly dragging our magnet along here we're uh, going to concentrate on these bridges. Maybe people have been fishing down here. Maybe people just like to hang out down here. I don't know. But it could get awkward. I see a lot of, I don't want to say homeless people, but people hanging out under here. We actually have a gentleman sleeping over yonder. So this is, this is going to be the game plan here. That's a lot deeper, isn't it? Well, let's give her a try here. Oof, man, this is just a different environment, let me tell you. Got a lot of metal. Uh oh, Dad pulled up a ton of metal, it looks like. Look at that. Completely stuffed full of metal. Wow. Oh, man, me and Dad have been dragging these magnets all along here with hopes and dreams of catching something and the only thing that we are catching is this right here oh well, except for that look at that <laughs> first find of the day a paper clip <laughs> uh, but yeah that's it there's just nothing but a ton of metal in here as you can tell well we've been here for i don't know probably almost an hour and uh, we have pulled these magnets, I don't know, probably a good eighth of a mile along the side of this here concrete here. So our intentions were good, very good, but here's what's hurting us. Underneath the entire walkway of this entire system, even across the way underneath that concrete walkway or underneath that one it's all the same this whole concrete sidewalk sitting on these metal structures and as you've seen all we're catching 
is rusty, rusty metal fragments. I mean, it's just piling up on our magnet. If there's even anything there, you just you pile your magnet up. Uh, hey, thanks, buddy. But like I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by the weed eater. Yeah, uh, <laughs> underneath these bridges, it's, it's a little different. Kind of sketched out a little bit, but the thing is, is we're just not catching anything good. The only thing we're bringing up is just piles and piles of metal. And that's it, that's legitimately it. So we're gonna make us a money move and uh, we're gonna go back to a little local spot here in the big city that has some docks. When I'm thinking about people losing stuff, the, the docks is where it's at because the docks are more centralized. More people end up on top of them in a, in a small, small, small area and have the potential to lose things. When you're dealing with this much area, yeah, it's just too much area with a little bitty magnet. Well, we are here. Check it out. Now, we've been here a couple times, but this dock in particular, we never got the magnet fish because the last time we were down here, there were two gentlemen sitting out on it. They were fishing, had their poles in, and we were like, you know what? We don't want to disturb them, so we'll end up coming back. And here we are probably, I don't know, a month later, and uh, me and Dad are really going to fish this one out, fish it hard, see what all we can find. Hopefully, we have some luck. Let's get our magnets wet, shall we? Well, Dad's already getting after it. He said it's deep, probably over 10 foot where he is, but like tradition states, I'm gonna start up here on the walkway and work my way down. Oh yeah, it gets real deep. Good deal. The reason why I like deep docks is because if somebody usually drops something, it's deep enough to where they can't jump in and get it. So, hopefully we have some good luck here, fellas and gals. Oh man, well I am hooked on to something here. I don't know what it is. I'm having to work. Oh, I think it might. Oh, here we go. Look at this. <laughs> A big old tree bass. Yes. Well, just pulled up this whole Christmas tree here and a can to go with it. it looks like an old tuna can or something. That's the first legitimate find of the day. Well, first find of the day, the old can and the tree bass, but uh it looks like we have a nail as well. This little platform here, I figured people would have been putting stuff up here and it might have fell off, but you can imagine how much stuff people would have put up here that aren't magnetic, aren't metal or anything, you know, so. I don't know, but careful on this railing. It is a flimsy guy, whoa. Oh, see what we got on here. We got a treble hook and just a normal hook. Two hooks of the day. Finally, finally finding some stuff. Not the best stuff, but it'll work. Well, I do not know what this little thing is here. Look at that. What is that? I don't know if you guys can see that very well. A little bitty piece of metal with some holes in it. Drop a comment down below if you know what that is. Well, desperate times call for desperate measures. You know what happens here. Just start sending it. Start giving her a big old cinderoni. It feels like I got something. What is that? Ugh. <coughs> pole holder. Pole holder. Looks like a, <laughs> eh, it may not be a homemade pole holder. I just never seen one like that. Hey, that's a first best find of the day. Look at that. We're on the board. In fact, oh man. Well, pole holder, I think, what have we found? Two or three pole holders now? Yep. Probably. Yep. Not a bad find, Dad. Still nothing, huh? <laughs> Still nothing. Uh, my time's are coming. Yep. Well, you on the somebody, board yet? Somebody sponge bait. Sponge hook. bait hook and then half of a normal hook. I think something's coming loose down there. Yeah. I'm back here on the other opposite side of the dock. Gonna walk, gonna work this walkway here. I've been at it for a minute. Feels like I got something on there. Let's see what we got. Well, there's something on there. Oh, look at that. Another another can second can of the day what do you think that's worth nickel nickel i'll take it oh oh well we're out here still struggling you know how it goes well here we are back at this dock we have fished this dock one time this is where i caught the scooter right here on the edge of the dock so you never know this is i think this is kind of one of the more traffic docks in this park 
and uh, hopefully people have been here within the last two months from the last video and lost some new stuff. So, you. what'd you get? What's I don't that? Know what that is? Let me see. That's Balls of Fire Otsk Bait Company Premium. You got you. Never heard of it. Says, oh, those are salmon eggs. Oh. Yeah. Look, salmon eggs. That's cool. First salmon eggs little container we found. That's neat. Some hooks. Yeah. But there's something down here in this corner. It's like not too old of a rabbit. Look at that. That's the definite best find of the day. Way to go, Dad. Look at that. Nice old rattle trap. About Missing a... <laughs> do what? About time I start hitting something. <laughs> oh, man. Thank goodness this dock is... Uh, it's giving Dad good luck. I have yet to find anything, really. But that is a reusable rattle trap for sure. Good find. Oh, look at that giant circle hook it's a nice one look at that bad boy not very old very nice circle hook feels like i got something on here don't want to jinx myself feels like i got something oh yeah i got something dad come here i don't want to lose it grab that there you go oh yeah nice what in the heck is that? That's what I've been working on here. I'll take it. Okay. What in the world is this? It's a big old piece of angle iron. Part of a street sign? I, yeah, actually, that's what it looks like. It looks like the like a the pole of a street sign, but it's bent. If you guys have any idea what this is, it's a piece of angle iron. Drop a comment down below. I have no idea, but I've been working on this thing for freaking ever. Look at that. First bottle top of the day. Oh, look at yeah. Oh, look at that. Someone was using it as a fishing lure. They sure were. Look at that. Homemade. <laughs> I've seen this on YouTube before and someone was actually doing it. You pinch a bottle cap together, you put a little swivel on it, and you try to catch bass with it is what they usually try to catch. Look at that. Pinched it right on there is what they did. That's neat. That's that's pretty neat. Yeah. Little bottle cap fishing lure, I'll be darned. Do we have anything on there? Look at all them bubbles coming up. Wow. Goodness. What do we got on here? We have a huge nail. We have, look at that. Look at that. That was a big old, what is that, a D battery? Yeah. Double D battery, whatever you call them. Completely corroded. And completely deteriorated. Yeah, de 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 deteriorated here. Yeah, let me say my words right, but I think that's one of the most common things that we find is batteries, and that's batteries. that's proof in the pudding. You don't throw your batteries in there; they deteriorate, and all that acid goes into the water. So after a thousand batteries being thrown into one little pond, you can see what might happen. Man, I've been fighting something. Let's see if we have any type of sign on here what it might be. Oh, look, Dad. <laughs> Oh, with two hooks. Oh. Oh, 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 that is not an expensive one. It says ACM Removal LLC, but look at that. It still works. <laughs> oh, man. There's something right there. So I was just fighting something right there. I mean, tugging on it, it broke loose, came over here, pulled it up, and I pull up a knife. That's that's pretty amazing. I'm I'm kind of blown away. Well, now that is definitely the best find of the day. Well, Hello. Now I'm getting my back kicked again. <laughs> well, I've been standing up on the uh, corner of the dock, just pitching this thing. See if we have any luck here. <laughs> Tell you what, you want an arm workout? Throw around a thousand pound magnet all day. And look at that. We got a sinker and a hook, a leader. Throw around a thousand pound magnet all day. You'll get an arm pump that you won't believe. What'd you get there? Well, yeah, that... no name on that. Well, there is, but. Let's see. Yeah, that's a little worn out and old there. Bottle top. And then a beer top you got there. Look at there. Who would have guessed? Go. There's a lady that said that she collects these, so I'm going to start keeping them. 
A lady on the channel that commented? Yeah, a lady on the channel commented that she collects bottle tops. I'll be darned. Well, if you're the lady that collects bottle tops, drop a comment down below and we will start saving them for you. And huh, believe you me, we can send you a box of bottle tops. All right, guys, we are here at Dad's house where he has everything that we've ever found. And so I think two things that are really relatable is a good old multi-tool. This one's really nice. We found this one probably a month ago. And then I'm, we're going to give away one of our used magnets. This is a 330-pound pole magnet. You can tell we've used it a ton. So I think these two things are awesome for the first giveaway. So on the video where we mentioned doing the giveaway, I said all you got to do is just drop a comment down below. And let me tell you, there were 465 comments. 465 comments. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll through here. And I'm going to randomly, very, very randomly pick one. Let's get it all loaded here. Make sure everybody has a fair chance. All right, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. That one. Carlos Wheeler. Carlos Wheeler, spelled C-A-R-L-O-S, Wheeler. You are the winner. You get the magnet and the multi-tool. If you want to drop me an email, right here, bobguy888 at gmail.com. I will get these two items on the way. But I thank each and every one of you guys for dropping your comment down below and entering the giveaway. This is our first giveaway on the magnet fishing videos and I am really shocked. We had almost 500 entries from you guys wanting this old junk that we've been finding. So I'm glad you guys are really interested in what we're doing here and I'm so glad you guys have been enjoying the magnet fishing. But if you like this video, give me a big old thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. If you haven't hit that little notification bell down there, you probably need to. It'll notify you each and every time I upload so you won't miss one. But again, thank you for watching guys. Subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.